If you boys are looking to pick up some FIFA 16 coins, head on over to Golda.com and use DRG for a discount. If you're looking to pick up some cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap games, head on over to G2A.com. All links down below. What's going on boys? So today we're going to do something slightly different because there's been a lot of discussions going on this year that saying the pack look compared to FIFA 15 is absolutely disgusting on FIFA 16. So everyone's saying on FIFA 15, no, I was always getting better players, the pack weight was much better. And in a sense, I agree. I know packs are all about luck, but FIFA 16, the pack luck seems to have gone to a whole new level of dog shit. On FIFA 15, you tended to get a decent player every few packs. On FIFA 16, there's people spending hundreds of thousands on FIFA points and not even getting an inform. That's disgusting. So today we're going to put it to the test. We're going to open up 10 packs on the FIFA 15, then we're going to go to FIFA 16 and open up 10 packs on there as well, just as a small experiment. So, if you enjoyed the video, do smash a like, it really does mean a lot. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe and we're going to jump straight into this. So here we go, pack number one. We're going to open this up and see what we get. Eden Hazard on the pack. Is he in the pack? Let's see. We get, at least he's rare, I suppose. Oh my, do you know what? It feels filthy. The, the, the animation just feels dreadful. The cards even look dreadful. It's like it's bloody FIFA 1. I don't know why I said FIFA 1. All right, here we go again. Pack number two on FIFA 15. Again, it's Eden Hazard on the pack. We get another rare player. So things already are looking, look at that bloody hairstyle, holy Jesus. We've opened up two packs and we've got a rare player on each pack, which doesn't happen a lot on FIFA 16, I've got to admit. So, so far this is looking a lot better for FIFA 15. Here we go, pack number three on FIFA 15. What have we got in this one? We get a non-rare. That's the first non-rare we've got out of three packs. I can guarantee you on FIFA 16 that will not be the case. We'll be getting plenty of non-rares. Here we go, pack number four on FIFA 15. It's, a, ooh, it's another non-rare. Right, this could be a lot closer than I thought. Look at Rod Stewart. All right, fifth pack. We're halfway through the FIFA. We get Iturbi, who's a decent player on the game, to be fair. And, of course, he is a rare, which is good. Look at that filthy pace. Beautiful. Pack number six. What do we get? We get another rare player. We get two rare. Oh, we get a dirty looking. He looks like a filthy silver. He looks quite tasty. And, of course, we do get Kyle Walker, who is possibly one of the most OP right backs on the game. Here we go, pack number seven, we get another rare player, it is Vargas, not the best player, but we're getting rare players in almost every pack. What have you got for me this time, Eden? Do we get another rare? We do, we get Okazaki, I don't know what he's rated on FIFA 16, but his stats don't look too bad there, to be honest. Right, here we go, second last pack. What do we get? We get Varati, who's a decent player, Varati is, he's not rare, I think... Is Verratti rare on FIFA 16? I think he is. Not 100% sure. I'm nearly positive he is. But you're getting decent enough play. His shooting is actually crap on FIFA 15. Right, and here we go. The final pack on FIFA 15. What do we finish with? We finish with Mendes, who again, decent. But he is a non-rare. So again, he's got though, some sweaty stats. But again, he's a non-rare as well. Right, so to summarise FIFA 15... We didn't really pack anybody, you know, really, really good or should I say expensive. We packed a couple of players that are decent but not expensive. But the majority of the packs, we did get a rare player in. And that's something that people complain about a lot on FIFA 16. There's so many non-rares that you get, even in the 7.5k pack. So let's jump over to FIFA 16 and see what happens. Right, so we've jumped over to FIFA 16 and we're going to do the very same thing. 10 packs. And crap, I was meant to use FIFA points. And we're going to see what happens. So hopefully, especially because it is FIFA 16. Now there we go. Perfect start to back up the argument. Non-rare, popping up, a big filthy egg. Uh, I've got a feeling we're going to see a lot more of those before the video's out. Right, here we go. This is pack number two. Do we get a rare on the pack? We actually do. Hey, we get Sillison, who isn't very good. And... Again, I'm not overly surprised. 
Pack number three. I think my issue is this year, I've packed virtually hardly any in forms. Even the crappy one, now, that's not a bad pack. Vertonghen's decent, Schmeichel is pretty decent as well. But yeah, it's lack of even the crap um, in four plays. You don't seem to get those. You used to pack tons of them on FIFA 15. And you know, it's even nice just to see them pop up, even though you know they're going to go for discard value, but it's still about 10k anyway. And uh, there's just such a lack of those on this game. Right, I think this is the fourth pack. I've completely lost track, boys. I do apologise. But again, there we go. Another non rare popping up on the pack. And pretty bad plays in there as well. I think this is pack number five, boys. If it's not, again, I do apologise. Another non rare. See, you call it. I called it before we bloody started. It's just. It's a joke. Next up, what do we get? We get another non rare. Wow! Holy shit! Wow, look at his neck! Bloody hell, what a tank he looks! And he looks like a woman. So really boys, this is confirming what everybody's been saying. That you just, all you get is non -re Oh, my god. What an absolute piss take. I know I'm getting annoyed, but I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be surprised in the slightest. Here we go, third last pack boys, ah oh, my days, it's unbelievable isn't it, no, but there's another one, friggin Nielsen, who the bloody hell is he, I'm telling you it's more of these made up players again, so I'm glad it's worked out like this because it just proves the bullshit, there's another non rare, it's an absolute bloody joke, the money people spend, and they made millions if not billions bloody last year on FIFA 15, and then what do they do? They say, oh, everybody, all, the, all those people giving the hard-earned money, do you know what we'll do? We'll screw them over even more in FIFA 16 just so we make more bloody money. Assholes. Boys, I've no idea if this is pack number 10, but you've clearly got the bloody gist to this. FIFA 16 is an absolute bloody joke. There you go. I think, I think we got nine packs out of 10 with a non-rare player popping up. It's absolutely shocking. That's it. That's it. We're done. Not the most exciting video ever, but it, I told you it was made just to prove a point. And because loads of people have been saying to me, do you feel pack weight is a hell of a lot worse on FIFA 16? So I thought I'll put it to the test. Now on FIFA 15, we didn't pack. We didn't pack anything overly amazing, but we were packing not all rare players, which go for more coins. Which means you're getting more coins for your FIFA points, or for coin, you're getting more coins back if you're using coins. On FIFA 16, you get nothing but dump. It, it winds me up more than you know. This was an experiment just to put what you guys were saying to the test, and I think it's pretty conclusive that the pack weight in FIFA 16 is disgustingly bad. Um, I will go as far as to say it's 100% worse than FIFA 15. I don't think there's any question about it. Even this small experiment pretty much proved that. I called it before we started that we were going to get the majority of non-rare players on FIFA 16. And I think 9 out of 10 were non-rares. It's, it's a disgrace, boys. I hope you see the point of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll talk to you all next time. Cheerio.